This video is about how to take some fun and unusual shots by using crystal ball photography technique. When refraction occurs, with a transparent spherical object something magical happens. An inverted image upside down, of the scene behind the ball is formed on the crystal ball. Before we start, remember that you are using a magnifying lens, that will concentrate the light rays and may start a fire, if you give it enough time. So, never display it in direct sunlight. Using a pair of gloves is recommended, when handling the crystal ball. With bare hands, you may leave unwanted fingers prints on the surface of the glass of the ball. There are many sizes of crystal balls available in the market, this table shows some common sizes, weights, and approximated prices. The larger size, better fills your image and reflects more of the scene, and it will cost you more. The downside to the larger crystal ball is its comparatively heavy weight and its difficult portability. On the other hand, the smaller ball size allows you to take shots while hand holding the ball and also, it will cost you less. The decision is yours, for me I prefer to use 100mm with a stand. Try to find a place that is elevated, relative to your subject. Rest your ball on something raised and shoots from below to avoid too much ground in your image. Remember that moving the ball closer to your subject, will emphasize the distortion and bending. While moving the ball further away, will render the subject in a more realistic manner. The distance between your camera and the crystal ball is critical to your image. Move your camera away from the ball for a crisper image, and closer to it, for a more distorted look. Use a long lens or a telephoto setting on your zoom lens. This will give you a more pleasing perspective and a better effect. A lens that covers between around 20 to 60 millimeters is suitable for this type of shooting. Decide on whether making the background bluer or in focus. A small f-stop number will give you a shallow depth of field and will help render the background out of focus. This will emphasize the image within the ball as the main subject. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, the image in the crystal ball is always inverted upside down, to do something about that, you can use a photo editing software to invert only the scene in the crystal ball. That is all, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy the clip, you can watch more clips at my YouTube channel, just click the photo to the right. And if you are looking for more detailed information, click the photo to the left and come and visit me at ehabphotography.com.